<coughs> Hello, this is Superman Peace. I'm going to be showing you something really weird I found out about my, well, 2x2. Two two. The beginner's method, I think. The Rubik's 4x4. Four four. And just use only, use the mic. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so first you scramble it. And then, like, just like the beginner's method, I think, you solve the first cross, the, like, I mean, the first layer, just like normal. So, I'll get... Okay. And interestingly enough, white side, white side, right? Then you find yellow on top, and then you do 2x2 two two OLO. And what that means is that you just pretend that all edges are oriented, and then and then the corners are just the corners, right? So, just on a regular three by three. Um, just on a regular three by three, we have like the soon and stuff. So, like um, so you just pretend, so you just ignore these on a two by two, and just and just focus on these. So well, what you do is this is is basically a soon because there's only one corner and you know there's white and then there's yellow and then so you use the soon just just uh, you position it just like normal and then just do it and then so you do that and then you get OLO and then for PLL you just position the way you want it to go. And yeah, and then there's like a lot of cases, and like this one, you you only need to pr you only need to switch these two. But there's no algorithm for that. Well, what you do is use one that is like is um like it. Use only one that does this and an and an edge permutation because there are no edges, so it won't the so it won't affect anything. And, um, yeah, so, what I use, I use the one where the T permutation, so I just use the T permutation for that. And then that solves it. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, and, you can, um, there are multiple cases that, that like if you want to switch this and that like diagonally I use the Y permutation for that but you could use like any of them that uses that in an edge and yeah that's all I have to tell you so goodbye